Hello everyone. Hope you all are fine. Today on our behalf of CCTV desk, we come up with new video. This video is all about a very important CMS by ZKT named as Entire View View CMS for PC. So basically in this video, we are going to describe you what is Entire View CMS, what are its features and functions, what are its minimum system requirements and after that we will tell you that how you get the file, how you install the file and how you configure the software to make the camera live and able to access all its feature. So keep watching till end. Please like share our video and subscribe to our channel and don't forget press the bell icon so that you get the updates of all the upcoming videos and keep watching. So let us start that what is entire view CMS. The application is developed and rendered by ZK, ZKT Eco company for free to install and connect surveillance camera on PC as well as a smartphone. So basically it is a CMS, it means it is a software which is used to connect as well as control the CCTV camera on PC. This is the software program for monitoring the CCTV cameras on the computer screen. It is also used to monitor the cameras on remote location over the internet. Now let us discuss about its feature and functions then you should have at least you can see if you can view you can able to access the live view of the camera not only the live view but you can see the multiple channel at a time to watch the recording of the camera to take the snapshot of the videos and you can capture the snapshot and record videos manually also and it provides alarm push notifications uh, talkback capability to communicate if the camera is audio enabled you can control the PDZ camera means you are able to pan it and zoom. You can save the live view of the camera. You can adjust the image parameter like brightness and etc. You take a back of the recorded videos. You, you control the quality of the video recording and many more like you are able to search the log of the device. So these are the, are the basic feature and functions. And after that we will tell you minimum system requirement then you should have at least Windows 7, 8, 10 or even 11 but I don't recommend using Windows 7 because uh, Microsoft Windows 7 is discontinued by is, this is discontinued by Microsoft uh, so you, you should have at least 4 GB of RAM and and Core i5 processor equivalent, equivalent processor in other companies and at least 500 MB free space on your PC so the buy this 500 MB because when you install the software it, is, it don't take too much space while installation but when you see the live video you may want to record on your, on their PC manually and you may want to record uh, the things you may want to take a snapshot of their video videos live videos manually so for this you should have at least 500 MB of free space now we'll tell you that how how you get the file, how you install the software and how you configure the software to make the camera live and able to access all its features that we are discussing earlier in this video. So keep watching. So for practical parts I mean how you get the file you should open uh, any browser. In my case I am using Google so I just open Google Chrome and search for entire view CMS for PC. Enter view pro for PC and press enter. When I do this, here I find top of the list a website, one of the favorite, my favorite one. So just open this website. and here when you scroll down a little you find the download for PC option just click on this when you click on this it will redirect your page where we have to wait for 10 seconds and after that it will your download button become enabled 
now your download button become enabled so just click on this download button so here is our download start let the download to be finished now the download is finished just click on this show in folder option and after that just right click on the downloaded file and click as extract to entire this and after that when you extract you get the folder name the same as file name just open the folder and here is your our application file or .exe file or .installer installer file so right, right click on the application file and click as run as administrator and now click yes and now click ok now click next again click next here basic preview and playback map decoder alarm presentation so i don't you can choose according to according to your need so you, even you can leave all tick so i as as i leave all tick and click next now just click on this create desktop icon so that it can create a desktop icon for you and now click installed when you click install just wait for a few seconds here let the um, installation to be completed once it is completed you get the successful message message for installation Now click finish. Now just close all the thing and just go to your desktop. Here you find that entire Vis 2.0 is on the PC. Just double click on this entire Vis 2.0 and when you double click here it asks for a username and the password. So please enter the password. And please log in. One thing I should forget that click, click on this remember password and auto login. When you do this, you don't want to enter password again and again. Just click login. So this is the interface of the software. So here, first thing you should find that just click on the device management. Just click on this. When you do this, you find a uh, a uh, lot of options like ZKT, OnWave, or uh, ZKT Eco P. These are the device that you should search for them. If your device and your PC is both on the same network, means it is on the same means the device you are adding and your laptop is connected to the same router, then you should click on this search. Okay, and your device is OnWave enabled, then you should also click on this and click search and if it doesn't then what should you do you should find the another option that decoder device center storage decoder group here you find that add device option if you want to add any remote location device or in just like in my case just using this now here you should ask if you, you see that you should see that it asks for an IP so in my case I use my local IP so you should just enter your local IP here and if you have a device in a remote location then you should enter the static IP here so just click on this now that's for the port please note that this is the port of the device that you are adding means the D uh, DVR, NVR, camera whatever you have device name you can put anything now it asks for a username so it is a username of the device you are adding please don't be confused again the password is a password the device you are adding now here are the protocol on weave zk2 zk2 p cloud so just take on weave because i enable on weave on my device and just click save and just click 
preview and just just double click let the single view set and just double click on the CMS and your camera is live so thanks for watching this video thank you have a nice day